Thank you, Yanis, for applying for the green card for my husband. You're welcome. Uh, we used to interview um, um, next week, so my husband is not available today. So I'm here for interview preparations. So okay. you can let me know it. I can come maybe the after tomorrow sometimes with my husband. Sure. Send him my regards. Okay. Hello. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you like an A to Z what you're going to expect at the interview. First thing. You're gonna go, you're gonna pass security, and they're gonna ask you to submit the interview notice at the window. And after, like, you know, maybe 30 minutes, they're gonna call you, and you're gonna see an immigration officer. Normally, it takes about an hour or so. So, try to be there if it's an 8 30, try to be there at 8 o'clock. Okay? And when you go in, the interviewer is gonna ask you, the immigration officer is going to ask you to remain standing, raise your right hand and to swear that you're going to tell the truth. Obviously you have to say yes, sit down, and then he's going to ask you, uh, please show me your passport, your birth certificates, marriage certificates, and the main thing that he's going to focus at the beginning is he has to authenticate all the documents and information that you provided him. So if, you know, when we filed the application, we gave him a copy of passport for your husband, copy of your passport or any other uh, proof of your citizenship, and the marriage certificate, and the birth certificate, and any other documents. Uh, if you were divorced before, I'm not sure. So all these documents. And they want to see that, you know, that the original, that you have the originals, and they want to make sure that these are the same that we submitted. This is the first thing. So after that, he probably going to ask you a few questions. How did you meet your husband? And uh, what's happened after the next meeting? Where were you living at that time? Where, where, where was he living at that time? Uh, what is he doing? What time you went to sleep last night? Various other questions on your day-to-day -day, uh, activities. And you have to make sure that you remember everything. So what I suggest is in the next you know, uh, week or two, try to, you know, even though you, know, you live together and everything and you do everything together, but try to be more together, okay? So, and, and try to remember everything. Okay. Now, obviously, you have to know all his parents' name, his brother's name, sisters, uh, and any other things. But uh, sometimes it's still like you know, if in this country it's very busy, like you know, you can't uh, really s spend time together. Sometimes you really don't know, like you, like my family member, I really don't know that much. He really doesn't know it. So in this case. What do you think, like, you know, if he doesn't know it, what can happen in the interview? Like, sometimes if I can answer or he can answer. I mean, look, you don't have to answer all the questions. You don't have to know all the all the, all the the questions. But, I mean, it's depending on the officer, you know. I mean, you, if you see that, you know, you don't know a lot about him or you don't know very important thing, let's say he's asking you, you know, uh, well, if you take, he's asking you if you are taking any medication. He must know that it's your husband. Yeah, okay? Sure. If you're using birth control, if you could be, if you're keeping, you know, a kosher or halal or or any specific uh, food, or your diet uh, restrictions. So all these things, you know, you have to know all the basic things about about him. How much money you, you have in the joint bank accounts? How much money he's earning? Where does he work? Who is his supervisor? Etc. What is he doing? All these things, which I'm sure you know, but I'm just yeah, telling you. True. Um, the, the basics. On the interview, they will like separate us on the interview, or they will interview us together. Okay. Normally, I mean, it depends on the local office. Mm -hmm. uh, in New York City, as far as you know, from my experience, they don't separate you on the first interview. They reschedule you to what is called stocks interview, and normally in stocks interview they separate you and. When they separate you, they they ask you the same questions, and they try to uh, equate them and see you know if you answer differently, they're gonna ask you again, and it's called a rebuttal, a rebuttal process. And in this process, they basically you know if, if he said that the colors of uh, uh, the ceiling in your bedroom is white and you said off white, they might ask you, hey, why did you say that? You said you'll have to explain that. So in, in New York City, normally they don't separate you on the spot, but they can do that. They can do that. Um, even though, like, um, 
if my husband like cannot go for the interview, like if we've been scheduled for interview like next week, like he's not available today. Mm -hmm. So if I cannot make it to the interview, so is there any way possible to schedule? Okay. I highly recommend to you know, to go to the interview on the day that is scheduled because the I you know the immigration offices are reluctant to reschedule and it's very hard to reschedule unless you have an emergency let's say if he's sick or you know he has any other uh, you know urgent events that uh, prevented him from that they might understand that but I highly recommend to and on the make interview, the date. Do you, I'm sorry do you think uh, on the interview if uh, I take the lawyer it's a better or like if I go by myself well it's always recommend you know recommend it's recommended that you're going to have your lawyer with you because A, he's going to give you a lot of self-confidence, B, he's going to supervise the interview and see, you know, how the interview is conducted and if there is a problem, if it's a legal problem or a problem uh, with the officer, let's say he was asking a question that he is not supposed to, it's unlikely to happen, but I mean, everything can happen. Uh, if he, let's say you forgot any document, your lawyer might, you know, excuse that or might be able, you know, to submit it later on, and he knows exactly what he needs. And it's good that the lawyer is going to be there. He's going to take the name of the officer, know exactly what's happened in the interview, and if the case is being rescheduled or they asking for more documents, so your lawyer knows exactly what's happened there, and he can take notes. Normal, normally, what I do as a lawyer, if I go there, I also sit with all the documents, the joint documents, the passport, and everything, and. I provide this to the interviewer and you know if there are additional documents you want to submit, I'm always ready with that. Okay, so so in, after the interview, like if they approved it, and, um, do I have to like they won't give the decision right away, or do I have to wait for it? Like how it's really? Work I mean, it's a case-to-case -case basis. I mean, if you pass the interview, they might tell you on the spot, and some officers. In New York City, this is the practice. They stamp your passport with temporary evidence of uh, permanent residency. And basically, on that same day, your husband got his green card and he can travel outside the country. And then within two, three weeks, he gets the plastic card, which he has to carry with him, eat with him at all time. Now, if you didn't pass the interview, so normally they don't tell you. They will tell you, look, give us 60 days. And they send you a notice and tell you, look, we want to reschedule you or they might de decide to deny it and then they will send you a denial notice. Now, some cases they ask you for more documents and issue a request for evidence on the spot or they might tell you, look, we'll give you a decision in the mail and instead of a decision, they ask you for additional documents. Okay, it seems like um, it's, it's better to take the attorney to the interview. It's highly, mm -hmm. highly recommended. You don't have to. I mean, we prepare you in any case, even if you have to come here one, two, three times. The most important thing is that you're going to be ready. You're going to have your joint documents, you're going to have all your originals, you know roughly you know what they're going to ask you, and you know, be there on time and get ready to enjoy your life in the United States with once your husband. Again, thank you so much for the time. Thank you.